Hello, this is Matthew Miller with the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. And I have in front of me a box for another T-Mobile product. And let us just take you through a walk through some history. So this is not the first Sidekick. This is one of the later models. I actually owned the first Sidekick as one of my... It was my first data device, actually. So this is my one of my daughter's... Oops, as you can see, I'm a newbie. This is one of my daughter's uh, older Sidekicks. I don't remember what this... I think it was a Sidekick. I don't even know what this specific brand was called but it was one of the older T-Mobile Sidekicks, a mono screen but it had that great six row keyboard and all the controls and things like that and then the last generation one which uh, she had was the T-Mobile Sidekick LX2009 which actually was a nice device as far as you know as you can see she well uses it, it's a little beat up and stuff but you know it had all the nice controls, it had a beautiful screen, had the same flip up, it had a nice keyboard and as you can see Wow, she really wore down the keyboard quite a bit. I've never seen one with uh, that much silicone worn down on the keys, so she used it quite a bit. And uh, pretty much gave up on Sidekick when, when this second one died, right? So we've got the two older ones that have died, and she moved on to a Palm Trio Pro. However, another fairly new device that I'm trying to get her to take a look at is the new T-Mobile Sidekick 4G. This is actually a uh, Samsung product, and it's based on the Android uh, Froyo 2.2 operating system. So it's um, very similar when, you, when we dive into the hardware and software internals as some of the Galaxy S devices. It has a 3.5 inch touchscreen, not the OLED nice stuff like the Galaxy devices have, but it's a, it's a decent touchscreen, um, you know. 3.5 inches, uh, 480 by 800 pixels, regular TFT. It does have uh, the 1 gigahertz Samsung Hummingbird processor, which is great. It has the 4G service up to 21 megabits per second. Um, so it's fast too, right? Has, and then we'll kind of look at some of the hardware. So what's interesting about this device is it has quite a few hardware buttons, right? It has, uh, no. I'm still kind of figuring some of these out, but it's got a menu, a back, a home, and a jump button, right? So, and then it has an optical uh, directional pad. So let me just go ahead and unlock it here. So if I tap on home, we go back to the home screen here. And as you see, it's Android, right? So there's uh, some different screens. And as you can see, the little indicator up top to tell way, where we are at. And it has seven, by default, it has seven uh, screens. And as you can see, the buttons are really optimized for the landscape uh, usability. I'm just holding it here in portrait for a second just to kind of show you some of the hardware aspects of the device. Um, let's go around, take a look around. There's nothing on the top. On this other side, on the right, we have a micro USB opening uh, underneath this cover for uh, syncing and charging. We've got a camera capture button, which is, is nice to have. We have a power button down here, volume button, and then a 3.5 mm headset jack. And then on the back, there's a pretty basic uh, 3 megapixel camera uh, speaker and then kind of some little uh, areas to hold on to. So this device, as I said, is really optimized for the landscape orientation. We open this up, you see it's got the now familiar and six row QWERTY keyboard. If we hold some of the other ones, you can see it's actually a bit, it's actually really, really close to the design of uh, some of these earlier sidekicks. And typing on it, it's fantastic. I mean, I actually almost thought about buying one just because this is a great hardware keyboard. What's interesting, I'll try to show, if you can see this, is the hinge mechanism, right? So let's see if I can get a view. On the back, you can see the hinge on this particular model is pink, matching the T-Mobile colors, right? So as we slide it down, it kind of slides up hinge slides down it's really a nice mechanism and it feels really solid because I know it has to be because these teens that use well younger people usually that use the sidekick brand really flip this thing up and down I mean my daughter would sit at the table um, while we were sitting around chatting and, and be flipping this thing and it would be going crazy so they have to build a fairly durable hinge mechanism pop it up there we go everything's back in landscape we've got all the jump buttons and as you can see if we go to jump key settings just to show what some of these are if I tap on shortcuts you can see you can set this jump key 
through all the letters of the alphabet. So you can use this, and you know it's designed to be used in this mode. You push the jump key, you push a button, it launches something, right? So like say, gallery, jump key G. There we go, jump to the gallery. Back to home, and you can go through all of the, you know, it has its Android for iOS, so you got all the different aspects of Android that's supported, fully supported on the device, including maps, the web, Google Mail, Gmail, Google Talk, all that great stuff. Now, a couple things that are on here as well are things such as group texting uh, that lets you create, name, manage, and participate in reply all group text conversations. It also has a thing called cloud text that's an option to text with friends and groups across uh, a PC from your sidekick. It has Facebook, Twitter, those kind of apps. It has uh, Exchange support as well, so you can have Exchange email clients on there. And of course, it's messaging, and it's a Samsung device, so it has Samsung Media Hub, uh, the Media Room, which includes Slacker Radio on there. T-Mobile TV is provided. T-Mobile Video Chat, so you can do video chat with the Quick, uh, Quick application, and as I said, Slacker Radio for music. So, it's actually a very nice device, and um, you know, if you're looking for a hardware keyboard Android device, it's got to be one of the best out there. I mean, this thing is really. Nice solid device. It's snappy. It's fast. Um, you know, we jump back here. We let's go to the apps. I'll even show you the apps. And you know, this is Angry Birds. This is an Android device. Amazon MP3. All those great Android aspects are on the Sidekick brand. So to me, I think it's a it's a great device to bridge the gap between those coming from a Sidekick because it does have a very familiar Sidekick keyboard and hardware controls. Um, Everything else, the pricing we don't know yet. It's going to be available this spring in this color and in a matte black color, so it would be all black. Um, this is actually called Pearl Magenta. But it's a nice device to go from the Sidekick to an Android smartphone. And uh, I imagine that we're going to see some pretty good deals on it, especially um, they may be even offering deals for existing Sidekick owners to upgrade at a lower cost um, since they're killing off the Sidekick brand. And another thing I forgot to mention, it does have the 4G radio in there and the Wi-Fi calling. So you can make calls from home using your minutes, but it won't, uh, you don't have to worry about a signal because you can connect to your Wi-Fi network. So that's a quick first look at the T-Mobile Sidekick 4G. Thanks for watching.